Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Blue Collar Wine Review. I'm Dave. And I'm Mary Lou. Today we're going to talk about some Italian wines. Uh, this is a 2015 Tesoro della Regina Pinot Grigio, and I hope I didn't butcher that too bad. Um, this is an average of $17. Four star wine, it has sweet stone fruits on the nose and palate. Um, citrus notes on the finish and it's very uh, crisp and refreshing. Uh, we recently took that to a concert that was outside during the summer and it was mm -hmm. of course blazing hot. We're not too far from Atlanta so it gets pretty hot here. Um, but it was very good. We had it, um, like I said, chilled as you would normally do a Pinot Grigio um, and it was delicious. We had some charcuterie that we ate along with it. Um, and it made um, for a nice evening. We really enjoyed it. Again, four stars, and it's about $17. Outstanding. <clears throat> the next wine uh, that we uh, have uh, is a 2013, and I hope I'm not butchering it either, <laughs> but I probably am, uh, Canteen Diora Amicone. Amicone? Amicone, Amicone I think. All right. Um, we, uh, it's a Veneto Rosso. And uh, of course, like I said, it was it's Italian, um, and we noted uh, some raspberries and tart cherries on the nose and palate. Uh, had notes of tobacco and a smoky finish. It was deep and it's rich. Uh, we gave it four stars, and the average price out there in the market is about fifteen dollars a bottle. Do you remember what we had that with? We paired this with one of your favorites. And that was a tenderloin steak or filet mignon yes. that was pan seared and finished in the oven, um, which is something that we like to do every once in a while. Um, and it was really good paired with a nice steak. Uh, we had steamed vegetables. I think uh, we usually use mm -hmm. broccoli or uh, asparagus or one of those yeah. to go along with it. And it was really, really good. Um, what about the Tesoro? Um, the Tesoro, like I said earlier, we've had, we took this to an outdoor concert that allows you to bring in your own food and beverage. Um, we paired it with some charcuterie. We had some deli meats, uh, like prosciutto. We had cheese, um, shrimp cocktail, that kind of thing. But again, it's, it's, it was a nice wine to have outside when it's really hot, um, along with some colder dishes. Um, it would probably be great with salad too. And we just had one of those recently as well with shrimp uh, stir fry. Yeah, yes we did. So it was a light yeah. sauce on the, on the stir fry, but it was, <clears throat> it was really good. Um, we've had the uh, Joel Gott that we talked about on the last episode. We've had that with burgers. We've had it with pizza. We've had it with a variety of different dishes absolutely yeah yeah most people wouldn't think uh we have we've had the joel guy 815 with uh smoked ribs barbecue mm -hmm. ribs yes um, really good yeah so you sometimes you don't think about hey we're having burgers you know have a beer <laughs> but uh you can have you can have an inexpensive nice uh, red wine with mm -hmm. a, a burger in it and it it's really good yeah all right and the next bottle of wine uh that we can talk about um mm -hmm. Didn't fare so well with us. Uh, it was a 2010 Pregio, Pregio del so. Conte, Pregio del Conte. Uh, it was very light bodied, uh, it had some hints of floral, uh, and it just left your, your taste buds, your mouth wanting something. It was more, unfortunately, it was like drinking flavored water. Yeah, it wasn't very bold at all. <clears throat> Didn't have any, hardly any flavor. Not a whole lot on the nose, uh, no finish, and unfortunately, I mean, it could have been just that vintage. Uh, it could have been that bottle, but likely it was the vintage. <clears throat> um, and we or gave maybe it, that blend of grapes we just don't care for. Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> uh, but we gave it two stars, um, and it was the market price out there is about fifteen dollars a bottle. Um, we do try to go back and try some things and there's some that we don't on purpose we don't think we're especially like one that we'll review later that we picked and we, everybody raved over it mm -hmm. and we wanted to try it and it was just <laughs> awful at least i think so uh, but we'll talk about that one later um the cult. 
Um, <laughs> you are going to do some food pairings. <laughs> and uh, some food pairings. Um, but again, drink what you like. Try different things. Try different wines with different foods. Um, and see what you like. That's, that's the important thing is to find what you like. Um, and enjoy it. That's that's the name of the game. Yeah, you may not like something that we do, but <clears throat> you know, and we like it. But we're just trying to let you or inform you on stuff that uh, maybe you'd like to try. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't, you don't. If you do, you're like, yes, this is a winner. So it, you know, some like some of the ones that we go back to, like the Mercelet mm -hmm. and the Joel God 815 and yeah. and things like that that we like to go back and revisit. Right. Yeah. If you have any questions or uh, comments, uh, feel free on the blog uh, on our website, bluecollarwinereview.com. And we are on YouTube, or you can find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. Um, but if you can look it up, you'll find us. You'll find our logo. Um, we have uh, some uh, samples policies. If there's a vineyard or anybody who wants to send us some samples or some things there. We don't take pay for our reviews. We don't uh, charge, we don't do anything. We just want to try wine, uh, review it, and share our experiences with you. That's it for today. We'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Bye -bye. And remember, drink responsibly.